Next month will mark 20 years since Disney set up shop in Berlin to film the movie Tuck Everlasting. That meant turning back time in the Worcester County town to about 1914. And when it comes to the big screen, you want to make sure all the little things on set are accurate. For Tuck Everlasting and many other film and TV productions, that was the job of prop masters Steve and Lori Walker of Lewis. Next week, this couple will share their experiences during the Ocean City Film Festival. How are you two this afternoon? Just fine. Good, thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much for talking to us. So we've got so much we want to talk about. First off, can we set this up? You've been in the business for what, 30 years now? 30 years, yes, we met um, right after the two of us met in Alaska and came back and we started a business uh, doing props and sets, we called it, um, building sets for television commercials. And that ran for about 10 years. It was a, just a great time in Baltimore with five directors doing national spots. And we were at the right place at the right time. And then around the uh, early 90s, Laurie and I started our own company and got into the business of uh, doing props on, on movies. So what is involved with, you know, finding these props, getting everything for a movie? It, it's not something that, that takes a couple days, is it? Oh, no. There's uh, weeks of prep. You hope you're going to have weeks of prep. Months. <laughs> Sometimes over a month. Um, you first start by reading through the script and you do what's called a breakdown, where you uh, make notes of anything that an actor handles. That's a prop. Anything, handled, anything that's handled or dealt with in the script, any movement is a prop. So, um, and food. <laughs> and food, and cars, so, and um, interestingly enough, watches and rings are somehow props. But anyway, um, so you do a breakdown, and when we were doing it, it was pre-computer, pre-eBay, so we got to go out to, for tuck exam, for example, and go antique shopping with somebody with, else's money and spend somebody else's <laughs> money in antique malls and shops, and it was the it was a wonderful job. So you were talking about tuck everlasting in in Berlin. <laughs> so when you went antique shopping with somebody else's money, did you have a list of what you were looking for, or just trying to think of oh, no, what would be right? We made from the breakdown of the script. And then we also um, had the fun of thinking about the characters and what what might make them even more interesting. For example, the yellow man in right. um, the man in the yellow suit in Tuck. Steve found a- I found this wonderful cane that had a, a little button on the end and a little knife, a little dagger came out of the oh. end of the cane. And he loved it at first. Ben Kingsley played the uh, yellow man. and. He loved it at first, but then he decided that he wanted to be more menacing and not have a prop to be the thing. But he used the cane the whole time, but just not, uh, he didn't use the knife part. And, and, and that, that leads to the next question. Did you actually work directly with the actors on films? Oh, we always do. That's what the, the prop people do. They're the, they're the people that hand the actor whatever it is before each scene, take it from them between shots reset a, a scene for whatever it is they're doing to make it ready for the next shot. I have to admit that one of the things I like to do is watch the details of a movie and see if I can catch something wrong. Oh, have yeah. you ever picked up a prop and used it that was wrong and you didn't catch it? Oh, we have some stories to tell, which we'll tell in the workshop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always see on IMDb when they have the, the, the goofs. We've made a couple contributions to those. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what was the most fascinating set you ever worked on? When the last film we did was called My One and Only. It was a very limited release. It was Renee Zellweger, Kevin Bacon, and Logan Lerman. Uh, young fella he had just done um a western a western it was 1952 and you have to get all the props from the 50s which is a lot of fun and we we got to go to santa fe and albuquerque to shoot part of it and in outside of albuquerque was a western town that uh 
we got to work in for a couple of days. And that, that was really a lot of fun because, you know, out in the middle of the desert and you just come over a hill and here's the whole Western town set up. And, you know, most of the buildings are fairly complete, the front and two sides, but the backs are always open and a lot of them are empty inside, but a few of them have some insides. And then you just set it up for your particular show. But Tuck was Tuck was actually one of the most interesting because it it ranged from the 1700s and it comes all the way up to the present day. So we had a real range of things to buy for and situations to deal with. A lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, as you mentioned, as we mentioned, you're going to be taking part in the Ocean City Film Fest that's happening next week. We're going to take a little break right now, but when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. So stick around, will you? Sure. Sure. <laughs> so before the break, we were speaking with Steve and Lori Walker about their work as prop masters in some feature films and television shows. Yeah, it's, it's really fascinating to see how much goes into making sure you get all those details right. Well, as we said before, the couple plans to take part in the Ocean City Film Festival, a workshop, and we wanted to, to talk to them a little bit about that. We welcome back the Walkers. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for joining us this afternoon. Um, so, you're doing a workshop. Uh, what can folks expect during that? Well, we're going to start off by talking a little bit about uh, behind the scenes, assuming a lot of people don't know just what happens in a TV studio when you're making a commercial. Or film. Some of the construction work, uh, I, I was a construction coordinator on, on a film early on for Alibi, the Tom Selleck film. And, uh, we built this barn that was, I have a group of pictures of a barn that we built um, that had to look 100 years old. And so how we did that, uh, we have a lot of pictures of, um, oh, we did uh, a couple music videos. So we have a, a, a clip from a Tina Turner a music video that we did. So, so you, we were talking earlier, you've been in the business for like 30 years now. I guess you've seen things change a lot, haven't you? Oh my gosh, yes. And we're we're very we're I think we're very fortunate that we were doing it back when we really did it. Um, as I said, going to shopping malls and hunting down crops. It was like going scavenger hunting. Uh, nowadays, of course, you can go right to eBay or find something online. Which yeah, before when eBay first started, I remember uh, we tried to buy some things online, and there was. All this problem, the, the producers didn't want to trust us with a credit card from the company. Yep. And, you know, there was all this. Now I'm sure that's the only way they do things because the, the time has been cut along with the budgets. The, the time to get things done has been cut down so much that um, you really have to do it all through, uh, you know, online. And, and there's prop houses, which we used. Uh, tremendously, ISS in California, we would get uh, tons of stuff from them because they're... All our fake guns came from... And that's another story, a gun story about West Wing. Which we'll yeah, that's a that's a, a great story. I, I, I don't know if you want to go into it right now, but we, we are responsible for changing the laws in D.C. on uh, how guns are used in, in shows there. <laughs> Who can hold them? Oh, interesting. Wow. Yeah, because you guys did work on the West Wing uh, for the DC shoots. That's interesting. Right. 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 And we did the whole uh, Palestinian Israeli summit at Camp David, which was shot at a camp right next door to Camp David. And uh, there goes our camp. <laughs> 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 What's it like watching other productions, you know, watching other TV shows, movies, and stuff? Do you find yourself looking beyond the actors at at the props? Oh yeah, we all like to look at props. And and errors jump out at us immediately. Like if someone goes through a doorway carrying a briefcase and then we see them coming up into the room from the other side and they don't have it, we will notice those sorts of things right away. Continuity, that's called continuity, which is was a big part of our job. Um, and a, the really difficult part was when a scene had candles or cigarettes. Because if you know how a scene is shot, you know, you shoot one person, then you shoot the other person, you do a master shot, and each time you're going through the whole scene, 
So if they're smoking a cigarette, the cigarette can't burn down too much in the master shot. And then when you, oh. do the stuff, you have to start with another cigarette at the same thing. So with candles or cigarettes, you have to keep a tra track of it in the script exactly how long they are. And then you keep all the little pieces and put them back, put new candles in. <laughs> People may not realize that you can shoot a scene like in an office and it'll be a month later before you shoot the scene where they come out of the office. Hmm. So there's the continuity of what shoulder was the briefcase on and what did, were they carrying a coffee mug. You have to match the continuity when it's been quite a while since you shot the previous scene. Well, your workshop is called The Little Props, The Little Things That Make a Movie Work, and it's gonna be part of the Ocean City Film Festival. We're gonna have information on our website, delmarvalife.com. Steve and Lori Walker, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Oh, it was, thank you. It was fun, and the workshop is free, by the way. Oh, yes. Okay. All even right. Better. That's even better, yes.